YouTube, what's up, man? I got a special for y'all today. This is more regs action, man. A lot of you guys have been asking for regs because Vegas is right on the corner. A lot of people are back on regs, getting ready for the Madden Classic. And with the recent updates, as you see here, the Kansas City Chiefs are the best team in regs, mostly because Tyreek Hill has 99 speed. The last player this fast was Devin Hester when he got the 100 speed. But Tyreek Hill, just like in real life, is just a huge difference maker. And you kind of got to have him on your team, man, because you're just playing disadvantaged if you don't have him. This game was actually on Players Lounge. You can check out a link below there. If you want to play for money, I mean, it doesn't have to be $100. You can play $5 games, you know, $10 games, whatever it may be. I believe this is a $25 game. This is against Sodak Jack. And um, since the patch, I mean, I've realized the pass blocking has been a lot better. So I've, I've just been experimenting with Trips Tight End. I really like it because... Um, because it gets bigger plays. Now, here you see I'm on defense and just barely miss alert there, too. But so that Jack was running trips tight end, too. It's something that pretty much is the best offensive man right now. And you got to try to try to not allow the crossing route is the biggest thing, man. When you have a route that you have to guard, it's a huge deal in Madden. Uh, it's really it's just the basis of whole offenses. And, and trips tight end has routes you got to guard on both sides. That's what makes it so tough. And with the pass protection just becoming better after the patch, I really thought that it'd be better to go to this offense, maybe mix it in a little more, get some bigger plays. I mean, I have a, I play really good offense, but a lot of what I do is, is drags and, and flat routes and curls, really not opening up the, the field. And this is the first play of the game for me on offense. Hit the little speed out over here to Tyreek Hill. Boom. So I, I play really comfortable here. Because of all the stress, all the, the corner routes and the crossing routes put on put on the defender, the middle of the field is open a lot. You got to learn to pepper the middle of the field. Here I am again hitting that deep uh, speed out to Tyreek Hill. I put him in the slot just to uh, threaten the defense with the speed right down the seam. So got to use him. Like I said, once again, boom, pepper in the middle of the field. Hit the little baby in route. Got to keep him honest. Got him start make him start putting some more... Uh, Yellow zones in the middle of the field. Patrick Mahomes, another reason why the Chiefs are so good. He has decent mobility. Here we go. Hit Kareem Hunt underneath. I see other people using different running backs because of the spin move, but uh, Kareem Hunt's like a 90 overall, man. He's just, he's going to fight for you. Here we see, and we get a high ball to Kelsey, man. First and goal from the six, we score. No incompletions on the first drive. Started on my own 13, so they get a drive to go 87 yards. 86 is said there. But a huge drive for me right there. So now we just got to we get the ball at half. 40-second play clock on regs is huge. Here he goes. He hits a nice little wheel route. He used this play fairly well, the Tyreek Hill there. Boom. Caught that. That just made it hard to put hard flats on that side. And this is one of the other plays he went to a lot, which was the corner route to the trip side. Corner route to the trip side or a crossing route back to the other side is pretty much the basis. Here you see it there. It's pretty much the basis of trips tight ends, which makes it so good and so effective, man. Here's so again, he fits this slant route in right here in front of Lucas, who is one of the fast backup safeties I use at linebacker to lurk with. And he, once again, he hits the in route underneath. So we got to hold him to three here. We got him at the seven-yard line. First play, he wants to fire right at me. My linebacker almost knocked it out for no pick. But my man Orlando Scandrick came and caught that pick right there. But we're at the two-yard line. Hit the little flat route underneath. Nice job getting out of the back of the end zone, man. It's always hard playing with your back to the end zone, and we get a ball to Kareem Hunt, make a big play. Nice running play. Also, Trip tight end has a little bit, you know, you can add a little bit more running scheme to you with a little inside zone. You know, it really helps opening off a of defense, especially if they have to respect the run that much. Hit the little in route again. Sammy Watkins, I mean, with Watkins, uh, Connolly, uh, DeAnthony Thomas, and Tyreek Hill. With Kelsey, they just really have a lot of weapons to throw the ball to and a great quarterback to get it done. Here I go. I'm going to take some time off the clock. I run there. Next play, I try to hit a high ball over here to Conley. It looked like it was open. Probably forced that pass a little bit. First incompletion in the game forces me to settle for three. But we're up 10 to 7, or 10 nothing actually. Feel good. And we get the ball at half. Pretty much got this game exactly where I want it. A minute 10 left. He has all three timeouts, man. You, you can't give up the crossing route, and you can't give up the corner route. It's so hard to guard both of those routes, you know, and pretty much decide which one you're going to give up. But in this, in this case, I can't give up either of them. So I pretty much got to just pay attention to what play he's running. See, here's, here's the crossing route. Cover it great. Allow him to throw the little hitch underneath. Just make a tackle. Boom, make a tackle. Make them use a timeout. That's that what I got to do the rest of the drive. 
Here I go again. We actually get a sack right there from my man Justin Houston. Justin Houston and D Ford are decent rushers. And we give up this. Look at that laser of a pass, man. Just a perfect positioning, man. I should have clicked on the safety. I was on the I was on my user. I thought I could get there, but he fit that corner route in perfectly on third and long. Here we go again. I actually, and what did I tell you guys? Don't give up the, the crossing route. And I give up the cross and route, spring move, touchdown. So I was pissed about that because that's exactly what I couldn't give up. I had a brain fart, just tried to do too much and gave up the crossing route. Tough play, man. Really made this game close again when it didn't need to be. So we're in the second half now, 10-7 to seven at halftime. I get the ball. I told you there's Kelsey with a nice little drop. Tough catch for him. He actually put two flats on the side of that play. Next play, he gets a little loop action. And then he allows me to throw the little in route underneath to Sammy Watkins on third and 10. Like I said, the middle of the field is going to be open when you run trips tight end. Try to hit this crossing route. Everybody else seems to catch that perfectly, but it goes right through my face. There we go. Next play, we max protect, throw a little hitch out here, stop on him, get a couple more yards with Chris Connolly. He's got that great speed, man. Everybody on his team has good speed, and that's, that's why they're so good. Kareem Hunt fighting a little bit. Gotta keep in mind, I don't like the run, but you gotta every once in a while try to get a couple yards. Leaves a flat route open to Tyree Kill over here. Hit him with a spin move. Hit him with a little stop. Whoop, and keep going. Tyree Kill is a water bug when he gets the ball, man. Disappointed I didn't score on that play to make it a highlight. Next play, I go for a high ball to Kelsey. Boom. Overthrow. I didn't want to try to fit that in. Didn't want to risk a pick. Try to get a run pop, and he just bags it, blocks sheds. Get a third and eight here. Want to go to some type of curls. Try to hit Kelsey on this this in route. He drops it. Real tough catch, man. But if you want anyone to catch it, that's Kelsey. But he dropped down. Kick another three. Go up six points. Plenty of John Madden football left to be played in this game. I'm feeling okay. Like I said, can't give up that crossing route, man. That's like number one key. Two trips tight end is not give up the crossing route. Even if you give up the in routes, the drags, and even the corner route from time to time. But you can't give up that crossing route. Here he goes again. Hits the little curl over here to Kelsey. Gets a nice, like, 18 yards. But the one thing about Kelsey is not fast enough to take it to the crib. And I get a lurk on the next play. Bait the little table route. Come back for a slant. Tyreek Hill's so fast. He made it easy to lurk both of them. Come back over the top. Boom. Throws right at me. Eric Berry with the lurk. So we get the ball back. And we're up six points. Feeling great. Because if you're up six points, man, one field goal is all you need. First play, I'll throw the corner route over here to Conley. Comes up with a big catch there. So we're in field goal range now. Feeling good. Want to say, take some time off of this clock and really uh, you know, go up two possessions. That's the goal here. Try a little 0-1 trap. That's super bagged. I mean, every time I went to an obvious run set, he back boxed it up pretty good. Here I go hitting a comeback route, much like my Saints offense. I mixed that in with this Denver Broncos offense. Uh, run the ball to Kareem Hunt. That's going to take me to the fourth quarter. Put your fours up. Another run, try to get in. I only get nothing on that run. So we got to try to cook a dot up here. Try to throw this little wheel route. Almost get picked there by a number two. Oh, that's to Eric Berry, actually. Boom. And, of course, you know, no, nothing goes good for W because he's going to block my field goal that would have put me up nine points. But instead, I'm still only up six points. But I'm playing pretty good defense, man. Things are working well for me. Just can't give up the crossing route. And what do I do? I can give up the crossing route. Good tackle there by Skandrick. He was close to the play, but uh, definitely still caught it there. Next play, we really man up the right people. Boom, and get a sack by my man Hitchens. Next play, he's throwing underneath, just make a tackle. Good job by Lucas making a tackle. Time's really becoming a little bit of a factor now. This is last drive. I get a little scream. Got to make this tackle here. Murray, Skandrick, sickening that I gave up that many yards on a drag. <laughs> On third and 16. Next play, I bring a lot of pressure. He gets hit, floats it up, and Tyreek Hill still catches it. Frustrating as hell, man. Get to hit the quarterback and the ball go right to the receiver. If my if I get hit though, the ball goes right to a defender, man. This is the life of W, man. It's hard being me. Wouldn't wish on anybody else. Once again, we man up the crossing route here. Eric Berry kind of gets torched, but it forces him to overthrow it. Third and five. He throws a little table route, man. That that's that's frustrating. So this could be the last drive of the game. I'm feeling good about the way I'm playing defense. Cover the crossing route, and D Ford gets through and gets a sack. Next play, he goes for the corner route. We click on my man, Murray, and finally pick that thing off, man. He was throwing it in so much coverage. Get the pick. A minute 16 left. He has all three timeouts, so let's try to just take some time off the clock. First play inside zone, he calls timeout. Second play, I go for double drags. He does a good job hard flats, and he covers the crossing route. 
Gets a sack, calls another timeout. I definitely don't want an incompletion here. And he gets the super shed around the edge of the next play from Chris Jones. Shoot, so I got to punt him the ball back. Got to get a good punt from the back of my end zone. Make sure it goes out of bounds. Can't allow Tyree Kill to touch the ball right there. That'd be a huge mistake. So I can definitely make sure I punt it out of bounds. Those a little uh, drag underneath. It was bad by me, man. Just allowing, pissed off because I allowed... Double spin move. I, the first of defender, I really tried to take away the out of bounds. The second one, it, it was just bad tackling. That's the spin move. That's what it does for you. This is the worst lurk of my life. I cover a drag and allow the crossing route. But Skandrick, standing up for himself, holds him to the three-yard line. Things are looking good. We blow up the inside zone. The next play time is really running for him. Next play, I really want to stop inside zone. I'm worried about a high ball to Kelsey. He goes with these double double hitches, throws it low, but he gets a bad animation coming out of the end zone. It makes him uh, catch it on a one. He no huddles and spikes the ball. That's what he goes through just to allow himself to get one more play. So it's going to come down to one play. I still got to worry about inside zone, so I'm going to come out with a four down D lineman. I'm going to play man coverage because I don't want one of those hitches. I don't want one of the high ball curls. That's what a lot of people are doing now, high ball curls. So if everybody's manned up, everybody will be accounted for. Somebody will be in their face. If they catch it, they catch it. Just want to make sure I don't get hit with a curl. I don't get hit with a table route or the inside zone. That's pretty much all I'm thinking about right now. Curls and inside zones. So I'm going to guard inside zone with the four down lineman. I'm going to put Eric Berry in a hook curl. Maybe he'll make a play right there. And you see my DB just goes off sides wildly. And nothing's covered. He goes for the curl because his man is overthrown. Just a wild corner going off sides, man. And, and there's nothing you can really do. And the gentleman's game, man, you decline penalties like that. He declined it. I mean, that's just out of respect, out of, you know, the right thing to do. To, obviously, to each his own, this was a $25 game of Madden, but it was something that did not affect the play. It's something that, you know, was just unfortunate. I think I clicked on and moved him back, and for some reason he, like, just did the fake, you know, go off size thing. But like I say, he declined it. That's what we normally do in, in the Madden community, man. You get a false uh, off size like that that doesn't really affect the play that isn't a user. Pretty much declined it, but declined it for the game. That's out of respect. It was a great game, man. Good opponent. I made some plays on defense. Really could. Played a little bit better on offense, but that's a great game. Let me know if you guys want some more Rags action.